Greetings metal community, it's Roga back with another video. Um, I watched a video from uh, Pat over at Ground Zero Salem um, a couple of days ago, or last night, I don't remember. Uh, he did a uh, response to uh, something called the Cassette Tag 2023. Uh, the originator of that is uh, low, low Noise Jason Skills, and I will link uh, the original video up below. and. Um, Maybe I will do you a service and put the questions down below as well. You will have to wait and see. So yeah, it's kind of like the metal tag, but you know, with tapes. And uh, I love doing the metal tag, so of course I want to do a tape tag as well. There are two um, two uh, ans questions here that I won't answer because I don't have anything to show for it. So, um, but yeah, first. Uh, question or task uh, show a tape uh, from 2022 I went with uh, gut void just because it's a fucking uh, brilliant uh, looking tape absolutely beautiful beautifully executed by um, blood harvest so that's my tape from 2022 And we have a punk uh, new wave tape. Uh, I went with the only, the closest I got was the Clash, cut the crap. I just love the, um, oh, sorry. Love the song, uh, uh, This Is England. It's a killer track that I've always, always liked since I was a kid. So um, the Clash, I hope that's um, enough for, uh, punky enough. Uh, metal Hard Rock, uh, I went with uh, Lowness, Hurricane A, Ice from 87. I'm a big Lowness fan, or at least from the, the early Lowness, it's killer. So, um, uh, it's a tape that's still sealed. Uh, I went with the Limbonic Arts, the uh, Moon in the Scorpio. Kind of a um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a reissue. I don't remember. It might be an original. I do have another that's opened. So um, uh, most experimental tape. I don't have uh, much what I would call experimental, but um, we have shrines from UK. Uh, Ghost notes. Uh, it has uh, Samuel Lawrence from um, the Antichrist Imperium and. Uh, yeah, I used to be, uh, yeah, I think it's the only guy from that, I don't remember. It's a sleep case with just this tape. Uh, this is kind of, um, yeah, progressive, uh, avant-garde. As I said, it's pretty experimental for uh, my point of view, but uh, yeah. So, Shrines, Ghost Notes, killer stuff. Uh, a tape from the 80s. Queen's Reich, Rage for Order, should be qualifying for that, I don't remember when it came out, but it doesn't matter. Pretty sure it's the 80s. Great album, by the way. Uh, then we have... Uh, uh, hip hop uh, R&B don't have anything of that so um, question seven is a blank for me uh, eight uh, tape you have on CD and vinyl and that's what's playing in the background it's uh, Equinox I do play the CD but here is the tape the clutch of the tape. Uh, yeah, the Equinox, for those who don't know it, is a Norwegian trash. Trash the piece. And I have the CD version of it as well. Pretty, pretty basic stuff. And uh, then, of course, uh, the vinyl. All, the, all three formats are original pressings. It's a uh, kind of a sticker for the price, price tag. 
damage, but yeah, killer, killer Norwegian trash and black, proper black vinyl. Yeah, this is absolutely one of my favorite Norwegian releases of all times. So um, we didn't have much trash back in the days, at least of this quality. So it's cool to have. Uh, my most, most expensive tape in the collection, that's the uh, Covenant promo from 95. Uh, this has an average price of um, uh, 91 euros on, um, on Discogs, but I'm pretty sure there are some, yeah, some uh, signed stuff as well, but yeah. According to Discogs, uh, Covenant uh, Promo 95 is my most valued tape. And then number 10, Techno Electronics or Synth Tape. Uh, don't have it, so I can't show it. Um, 11, uh, a tape bought on a show. I went with this uh, demo, uh, Death Mission. Another great... Uh, Trash band, this is the ultimate do it yourself uh, style. Um, great to trash, uh, they never got into any proper releases. Um, that was a big shame because this was kind of a band that would have made it. I bought this on a trash, trash, trash festival, they, they wrote it with. Uh, without it H in the beginning, so uh, it was a trash festival in uh, Bergen in '91 or 90, I don't remember when this came out. 1990 might be one of those years, I don't remember, I'm too old. But yeah, very cool to have and uh, this is also a kind of a slightly priced on on Discogs. Uh, yes, a tape with a colored shell, I went with, uh, I like very much blue tapes. This is uh, Body Asphyxiation Science with the uh, gravitational uh, blood arts one of my favorite EPs last year killer stuff uh, I imported the tape I, most of my tapes are imported so I could pick but uh, since I've seen Jade been on a lot of lists I uh, broke out the uh, demo from um, 18 called uh, Smoking Mirror Red Shell I tried a new camera today, I don't know how this will turn out because my um, other camera don't show tapes as good as this one so this is kind of on camera on the laptop uh, Will I buy, buy more tapes or will I not buy more tapes? I will buy more tapes or kind of the same amount that I'm doing uh, just because I like tapes um, tapes are cheaper uh, kind of not uh, every label but uh, especially if you go to the big labels tapes are cheaper than CD um, also the shipping cost of tapes are much lower than the other formats so uh, yeah and uh, as I said I love tapes and uh, I think tapes are cool uh, they don't sound as good as they used to back in the days but that could be with uh, you know analog uh, recordings versus uh, digital recordings but uh, anyway it's always cool to get tapes in the mail so uh, I will for sure buy more tapes next or this year and what do you play your tapes on I bought a, a TIAC uh, double deck uh, tape recorder a couple of years ago it's kind of the only one new that's around I do have a Sony um, but I have uh, a friend of my borrowed it a couple of years ago, so I haven't asked for it back yet. But I, I will get it back and try to compare those two decks because I, I feel that the TIAC is not high standard. Uh, it's an okay, but it's way too pricey uh, compared to the um, yeah the quality of, of the player. But uh, it it does the job, so uh, I'm fine with it. But. Uh, yeah, so it's a TIAC. Uh, I don't remember the serial number of it. I think most of you know it. Show a mixtape or a blank tape. Uh, the only mixtape I actually have left is 
it's a uh, one that I made myself and um, you can hardly read what's on here because um, yeah it's been worn out uh, one side has Magnum, Scorpions, Teen Drum, Kingdom Come, uh, Nomads, Jewish Priests and the other side uh, looks like uh, a lot of um, Anthrax and some other stuff so um, yeah that's kind of my only survived uh, tape from back in the day I did throw away a whole bunch of them um, probably 15 years ago but um, regret it now but I mean they were all worn out so uh, I don't know if the quality would be any good uh, yeah that was um, 16 17 um, show an album uh, you would like to tape or a tape that you want to have on vinyl I would really love to have uh, Raga Rockers for Bytte Følser on uh, vinyl this is a uh, Norwegian rock and roll uh, or punk rock uh, classic uh, I have it on CD as well but I would really love to get this on vinyl but uh, yeah, every time it's repressed, I'm late to the party. So um, maybe, maybe someday. But um, that's on the top of that list. Uh, show an A-track or on VHS. Uh, I did only have one VHS left. I have stored them away. So, um, but that's um, Septic Flesh DNA um, Corazon. Looks like this. I do have more uh, you know, VHS because I kind of kept the musical VHS, even though I don't have a recorder for it. So, um, but uh, yeah, cool, cool to have in the shelves anyway. So, show your second, third, or twenty-third tape in the collection. Um, I went with three tapes because I have three different places. Um, they are neither in uh, in the alphabetic order, not yet anyway. So uh, my second on the first shell was uh, Parallax Occlusion uh, with Exponential Decay, uh, 95 out of 150, so that's a, a good one. Then on my kind of my old collection I found uh, this, you know, Lita Ford, Lita. So uh, always fun to have some uh, Lita Ford in the collection. I mean, she's a great artist. So, and in my third uh, shell, I had the uh, this is a um, promo atheist of uh, elements from uh, '93. So yeah, pretty cool. Cool stuff to have, you know. I uh, wish the, the album was way better produced, but um, it is what it is. So uh, that was that, and a double cassette or a tape from a box set. Uh, yeah, tape from a box set. I've pulled out this because it's it's not a set because it's just one tape, but it's pretty cool. It's Varatron and the Torn Spawn. Kind of mixed, it's just a very cool tape so yeah Most of it. lyric sheet yeah pretty cool item I mean I do have a lot of box sets so you know immortal so I can pull out one there from us from that one as well just to kind of do it right If I can get it out. So yeah, still sealed. All my um, all the set here is still sealed. So yeah, very cool box set as well. So yeah, and the last one uh, was uh, kind of a bonus question. I mean, show a uh, single. I don't have a single, but uh, you know, this VHS is actually a single, it's a one song. The Eldest Cosmonauts. It's 4 minutes and uh, 37 seconds just on a, this big tape, so what a waste. 
But uh, yeah, so uh, this is kind of semi answering the bonus question. So yeah, that was uh, all I had to show. I uh, hope you enjoy this one and uh, go and check out the um, original uh, out on uh, low, low noise Jason skills. And um, yeah, join in if you want to. This is pretty cool stuff to do. So um, cool to see other people's tape collection. Thanks as always for watching and subscribing and uh, be sure.